Well, my loves, welcome to what is almost certainly going to be the final episode of Quake. Woo! Well, here we are. My ah, fuck! Ah, fuck! Go away! Ah! Horrible, horrible creatures. We're actually in Shubnigarath's pit now. This is the very end of the game. Um, open, goddammit. Open or I'm gonna drown. I love the fact that it gives you the, the bloody lightning gun in the water. That's just cruel. Go away, you. There we are. Bullshit. Okay, right. So, this is almost certainly going to be the last area. It's going to be the last video of Quake, because this is the end. It gives you all the uh, all the guns, and it basically says, go forth and uh, fuck up Shub Nagorath, which is what we're going to do. Ah, there she is. She's got a shambler with her. That's all right. I can deal with that. No point in shooting... Wow, Shub herself, because you're not going to do anything to her. We need to kill the Shambler. God, he's taking some hits. Oh, Die, will you? Bloody Nora. How many hits does it take? What is going on? That, sh that should have died a lot, lot, a lot sooner than that. I don't know quite what happened there. Although this one is uh, also proving rambunctious. Alright. Alright, you, you you have a bit of your own medicine. <coughs> there, that worked. Okay, right. Um, that's the way we came in. Right. Um, hmm, should I? Should I? Yeah, why not? This is really tough, actually. What you've got to... Ah! Bloody hell, she endlessly spawns monsters. And what you've got to do is there's this thing floating around. There's this um, spiked ball floating around. And what you've got to do is jump into the portal at the end of this gauntlet at exactly the same time as the as the spiked ball passes into Shub Nigura. It's really weird and oblique and obscure and it makes no sense, but that's what you've got to do. So... Oh, fuck! <clears throat> okay. Fine. I can deal with that. Oh, fuck. I just saved instead of loading. Great. That's brilliant. Go away! Vile things. No! That's just cruel, that is. Uh, 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 thank you. Right. Let's do this properly, shall we? You've got to go down this way. Go away, fish! This is a very strange place for an elder god to reside, isn't it? Don't you find? I think it's weird. I think it's really weird myself. Go away. You are not wanted. Um, that's a horrible thing to say, even to... Yeah, that thing! That, you've got to... It's so weird, the way you've got to work this. It's so, so odd. But there we are. That is the way it works. Right, I'm going to just very quickly give it a nice little save. Because this is really tough. This is going to take a while. It's just an odd... It's a... They didn't have much time. There's actually a really good video, but I'll, I'll see if I can link to it, actually. There's a really good video on YouTube about the history and the making of Quake in the wake of Doom and what was expected of um, ID uh, software as a result of Doom. And it's quite incredible. The creation of Quake is in and of itself a kind of saga, you know? But they unfortunately had very little time in which to uh, program in a proper boss at the end of Quake. And as a result, there isn't one. <laughs> There's just this. Doom's the same. I mean, Doom kind of technically has the Cyber Demon and the Spider Mastermind, but they're just normal enemies, really. They're not, they're not really bosses, or they do become normal enemies as time goes on. Will you die, you bastard? Okay. Will you stop spawning the bloody shamblers? They are really annoying! Oh, 
There's an area later on, I'm sure, where all the, the floors go bizarre as well. The level itself kind of fights you. Oh, tits. That went well. We killed it as it killed us. Yay! This is going to be tough, my loves. This is going to take some doing, I can tell you. It always takes me some doing because it's hard. Ow. If we can get them fighting, that would be grand. But that's actually quite tough here, believe it or not. It is quite difficult to get them fighting. Especially with the missiles going through the Shambler models for some bizarre reason. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. But it was doing that earlier. It's an odd little uh, problem, that one. Yeah, I think it's just going to endlessly spawn the Shamblers, to be honest. So let's just run. There we are. So what you need to do, there's a portal just here. Go away. Ah, that's the portal you need. You need to go through that just as the spiked ball passes into the back of Shub Nigurath. And that kills her. It kind of telefrags her. It's a... Did you see that? My missile went right through the Shambler model. I don't know whether that's as a result of um, this particular version of the game, like the console version of the game, or if that's just a fault generally, but it's annoying. I know that much. Ah, well, that went well. Bloody Vores. Yeah, this is kind of standard for ID software of the era. Um, the end of Doom 2 is like this. Where it is just monsters, it's just normal monsters. There's nothing that special about it, really. It's a bit sad, really, because I, I really like Quake, I really do. But it, um... It kind of ends on a bit of a squib, to be honest. It's a bit of a damp squib, isn't it? Really, in any real terms. Are they fighting? Oh my god, if they're fighting, I'm going to save it, because that's a grand situation. Who's going to win? The Shambler. Of course the Shambler. Or is it? Hmm, who knows? Uh, there we go again. Another missile going right through the animation model. And something else teleporting in. Wonderful. You know what would work really well here? A bloody BFG 9000, but the, this game doesn't have one, unfortunately. Go away. I got... <sighs> you can tell with this area that they were running out of time. You can tell that it's not quite right. There's something not quite kosher about it, you know? Right, in we go. No, there we go. That's the end. That's it. We got it just at the last second. Watch her go. I like the design for Shub Nigura. She's like a... She's like a metaphysic... Oh, there we are. <laughs> Telefragged! She's like a metaphysical cancer, right? That's kind of cool. Congratulations and well done! You have beaten the hideous Shub Nigurath and uh, hundreds of ugly changelings and monsters. It's very badly written. The, the, that's it. That's the ending to Quake. They had, they ran out of time. That's the, that's the, the, the bottom line. They ran out of time with Quake. It's, it's sad, isn't it? It kind of ends on a damp squib. There's a lot of stuff set up, but it doesn't really go anywhere. Unlike Quake 2, which actually does have a, ver a fairly decent ending. Oh, there are credits! Bloody Nora! I don't think there are credits on the original game, I can tell you that. So that's it. That's it. It's a little bit of video game history. Certainly first person history, and I suppose horror history as well. It's um it's got atmosphere, it's got a decent atmosphere, has Quake. But it's uh it's very much showing its age now. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't really take itself terribly seriously. And towards the end it's very ropey. Towards the end, it's very clear that they didn't have time to play test some of the levels. Um, and the end is just tacked on. The end is just tacked on nonsense. They had no time to do anything with the end, which is a real shame. Uh, apparently, there are there are some interviews out there with some of the designers and creators and artists behind Quake, and they had grand, grand designs for the end of Quake. 
There were supposed to be bosses at the end of every chapter that were based on uh, the old ones, like Lovecraft's old ones, you know? Um, you were supposed to fight Shub Nigurath, you know? It was supposed to be a much more elaborate battle than that, but it just never happened. They ran out of time. There was a. Uh, I'm sure I remember reading somewhere that there were. They had to redesign the entire game at one point. I can't quite remember why, whether the code went missing or was stolen, or they just wanted to do something different with it. Um, but they had to scratch what they'd done and recreate the entire thing at one point. The result being that they didn't have enormous amounts of time. It's a bit meh, the end of Quake. Quake 2, completely different. It's actually got a really good ending, Quake 2. Um, and it's a much more coherent uh, experience. The, the, the thing with Quake 2 is, it's an entirely different thing. It's got nothing to do with the, the sort of Lovecraftian occult supernatural stuff that's in this game. Nothing whatsoever. It's a completely different universe. It's a science fiction story about an alien race called the Strog who are like parasitic cyborgs and they invade worlds and realities. They're, they're the Borg. They're like the Star Trek Borg. They invade worlds and realities and infect all of the ecosystems and organic matter with um, their, their, their own stuffs. Uh, and you're fighting against them. It's quite fun. There's lots of interesting set pieces. There's a lot of gory, nasty monsters in it. Um, there's a great sequence where you get to see, like, the Strog factory, where they're, they're making new Strogs from captive human beings, and they're inflicting hideous surgery on them. It's great fun. Um... I don't know. I mean, I never played Quake 4, so I don't know if they ever went back to this Lovecraftian stuff. I don't think they did, because it's too it's kind of too close to Doom, isn't it? I mean, in any real sense, Quake is pretty much the sequel to the original Doom. It's just 3D. It's, it, it is just the updated 3D version of Doom, isn't it? And they've swapped out the satanic imagery for Lovecraftian imagery. It's basically it. American McGee! Oh my god! Guy who created American McGee's Alice, you know, the Alice series of games, which are absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. Currently crowdfunding another Alice game, I do believe. Trent Reznor, look at that! Trent Reznor was involved in this, the Nine Inch Nails were involved in this, I love the Nine Inch Nails. Wonderful, wonderful band, that, um, that sort of, uh, you know, sort of heavy industrial sound that they've got going on, I love. The nihilism of Nine Inch Nails, I absolutely love. So yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I wonder if um, Bethesda, I mean, you know, Bethesda, I wonder if they are actually going to do anything with the... I, I assume they must be doing something with the Quake franchise, because that's why they've released this, isn't it, you know? Um, they'll be using, obviously, the tricks that they, they learned from Doom and Doom Eternal. Um, hopefully it won't just be a carbon copy of those games with, like, the Quake motif on it. It'll be something different, right? Um, but it would be fun, wouldn't it? For the, to using the, not Doom Eternal, but the original engine, the Doom 2016 engine. Um, a Quake game in that engine would be great, with all the Lovecraftian stuff and the new monsters and whatnot. That would be wonderful. I'd, I'd be up for that. Totally. I mean, if that happens, look forward to me Let's Playing it, you know, if I can get my hands on a PS5. Ever. Which may or may not happen. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. British society might have collapsed by that point, and I'm not entirely joking. Not entirely. But yeah, I, I enjoyed that. That was a nice trip down memory lane. As I said, I haven't played Quake since I was at university when I had my last PC. Um, I built a PC back then. I mean, it could it could play... You could play Quake on most pocket calculators these days. You know, telephones... So, I mean, you know, mobile phones certainly can play it. Certainly can. But no, it was fun. It was really fun playing... Uh, playing Quake again and getting to grips with this really old-school first-person shooter. It kind of makes me want to go back to some others now, like Half-Life, the original Half-Life. My god, I haven't played that for years. 
years and years and years. Would love to, though. Would love to do a run-through of it. Maybe even some of the more complex ones, like Deus Ex or System Shock. System Shock and System Shock 2. Those would be fun to play through. <coughs> Excuse me. I actually had my COVID booster earlier today. I'm feeling a little bit off colour. Um, what are these? Are these levels that are being played through? Are they? Oh yeah, yeah, they're from the game. I think. I wonder if there are any. If there are extras in this version of Quake, I will play them. Okay. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see if there are any extras. Um, Add-ons. Oh. Connecting to Bethesda. Oh, no. oh, okay. Options, gameplay, multi multiplayer. Bloody hell, you can actually play multiplayer. That's kind of interesting. Oh, okay. Well, there we are for now, my loves. That was Quake. And it was a lot of... Oh, you can actually select. That's fun. You can select the different episodes now. That's kind of cool. Ooh, there are other... Scourge of Armageddon. Hey, what's the Scourge of Armageddon? I want to know. I tell you, when Quake came out, the mods... Oh, wow. Look at this. This is this is one of the add-ons for Quake. Shall we do it? Shall we have a go? Why not? Okay. Easy. Normal. Well, that was fairly obviously labelled, isn't it? Let's go for normal. This looks like it's a little bit more science fiction themed, doesn't it? It looks a bit more like Doom, actually. What's down there? Okay, there's that, but what's down here? This is weird, isn't it? What's with all this... It's like they've recreated like a little command center. This could be very interesting indeed. Does that lead back up? It does. No, I don't want easy, God damn it. And I certainly don't want... What the... That's odd. There's a force field there. How odd. Anyway, let's go for normal, shall we? This is very strange, isn't it? I like it. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I really like it. This slipgate selects the normal skill. Alright. Alright. I'm not complaining. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about this. This is one of the the many, 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 many mods for Quake. Oh, it's it is a little bit more elaborate, isn't it? Hello, these guys are different. Gotcha. Oh, the music's different too. That's a new music track. Hello. Could do with a. Bit of a stronger weapon than the standard shotgun, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, Bethesda, release do Quake 2. Quake 2 is rocking. Not Quake 3. Quake 3 was shit. I never liked Quake 3. Quake 3 was a weird choice. It wasn't really a game. Not, not as far as I'm concerned. It was a... Um, it was, you know, the arena shooter stuff that you get in multiplayer. It was just that. There was nothing else to it. It was like just the multiplayer function of a proper game. It's like nobody wanted it. <laughs> I never understood it, to be honest. I, don't un I didn't understand why it was considered to be a full game. When to me it was barely an add-on for a game, you know? It was a function of what could have been a full game. But then again, that may be due to my general attitude towards like arena shooters and multiplayer. Which is, I'm not that fussed, to be perfectly honest. I used to play T uh, Team Fortress Classic when I was younger. Once upon a time. Uh, pumping systems are active. Oh, okay, so I've got to turn off the pumping systems, apparently. I like the music to this one. Okay, so I've got to find a way to turn off the pumping systems. How do we do it? Boom. These guys are all dead. That's the way we came in. <laughs> Music's rocking. As you'd expect. 
Oh. Fun. I wonder if there are going to be, like, different monsters in this one. Who knows? Maybe. What the- Yes, there are! What the fuck is that? It's a mechanical scorpion of some description. Awesome! Oh, will we please? There are new monsters! Ah, yes. I've, I've seen that trick before, my love. I need some help, actually. You know what I should do? I should save it. Oh, my bloody Nora. Brr. What the frig is that? That's a big weapon. Ah, oh, oh, he just he just grazed me there. I need some health. What the bleeding? A chain gun. Or a laser. Oh, okay. This is a new weapon. This is cool. Oh, I like it. It's the chain gun. It's the chain gun from Doom. <gasps> it bounces. Look. The bullet. The, the, it bounces off. Of oh, that's so cool. I can't. I can't get through that, can I? No. Oh, that kills us. <gasps> Must remember that. We can kill ourselves with this weapon. Okay. Must remember. Must remember. How do we open them then? That's the way out. Wow. That is brilliant. Someone really playing with the physics there. That's amazing. That's that's the exit, so we can't go through there yet. Hmm. So we need to turn off the pumping station. How do we do it? That's pretty incredible. That's an amazing weapon. Need to get down there. Don't know how to do it, though. Hmm. Where do we go? Oh, well, I know. Down this way, maybe? Yeah. Oh, dear. Is this going to be a bit more science fiction flavoured than the other one? I think it might, you know. I don't know, maybe it'll dip into the Lovecraftian stuff a little later. You know, the extra-dimensional chicanery. I've noticed it's certainly a little less forgiving. We're getting shot quite a lot and getting hurt quite easily. Speaking of... Yeah, I suppose we'd better conserve a little bit of... Ah! Conserve a little bit of ammunition. Ah! Yeah, the modding community for this game was insane and lasted for years. Really right up to Half-Life to be- Oh, fuck, it's one of them again. Is it dead? Look at that! That's brilliant! Yeah, the, the modern community for this game were really inventive. And in fact, a lot of people who became video game designers and programmers later got their start modding Quake. Um, and ID Software, they were always on the lookout for new talent and coders and whatnot. Hello. Obviously. I can see... Ooh, hello. It's red. Why? What is it? What's the difference? What does it do? I don't know. But we'll find out, won't we? Something else just opened up there. I don't know what. Hmm, interesting. Huh! <gasps> Where are we going? Ah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright! Fair enough. I just killed myself. Great. Um... <laughs> this is fun. It's great to discover new stuff like this, I've got to say. It really is. And they got really inventive as well, the um, the modding community. Like, really inventive. They altered Quake so profoundly. What the... Bah. Some to the point that it, it became basically a different game, you know? Very impressive stuff. Oh shit, no, no, no. 
Um, where's the missile launcher? There we are. So it said, didn't it, fit a rocket down this pipe. Okay. What the f Oh, that's very inventive. God, so modifiable um, terrain. That was very avant-garde in first-person shooters back then. It really was. I know it sounds weird. It sounds almost sarcastic, but I'm t I, it's true. It was. What the hell is that? It's a, a scuba. I don't like that. I got a wetsuit. All right. Don't know what it does, but uh, fine. Like the sound effects down here. Hello. Oh, I've got to do that, have I? All right. Ah! Where did you come from? Oh, it's time! That Ah, shit. Let's do that again, shall we? This is really fascinating. It really is. Oh! Oh, there we are. Well, that's grand, isn't it? So where do we go first? Up uh, what? <laughs> Doing well. That's the problem with the missile launcher. It's so easy to uh, murder oneself. Gotcha. That is really powerful. Like, really, really powerful. But also problematic to use in. Uh, how do we get that? Oh, I'll have that. Thank you very much. You want a bit more of an open arena to use this, really? Oh, there's a key card in there. God, that is brilliant. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, okay. I want my double barreled shotgun, that's what I want. I wonder if it's as ubiquitous in this game as it is in the others. I don't even know where to use the key card. Um, did we even find like a... Ah, this is open now. Oh yeah, we're here again. Oh, it's just it takes you back here. Oh, okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Did we even find like a gold door anywhere? Um, I don't recall. Ahaha. I can't really s Yeah, it'd be great. It's great, but I can't really see anything. So, uh. Alright. <laughs> ah, interesting. Right, okay. So, um. I can't see a damn thing, so what's the point of it, you know? Okay, whatever. What's the key card for? Where's the gold, uh, the gold entrance? That's the way we came in. So right back at the beginning. That's cool. Great music in this level. I've got to say, I'm enjoying that very much. Is it for this force field here? Maybe I don't know. Nope. Bloody Nora. There's the slip gate out. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, where did you come from? Oh, we haven't been up there yet, have we? May have to go and have a look. Hmm. Oh, someone's fighting. Do you mind? without that, definitely. Hello. Delicious. Ah, well, that's good to know. Thank you. Shot him right in the foot. It's kind of not cricket, is it, really? Love the character models in these games. I mean, they're so early 3D.
These are very much proto strogs. That's for damn sure. I've got the. Ah, fuck. He shot his, his partner in the back. Okay. Ah, fuck. Um. Those scorpion things are tough. They, they fire nails out of their claws. That's kind of cool. All right, all right. Oh, I like the fact they shriek. That's cool. What the? Oh! Oh, that ah, uh, that was my own bomb, wasn't it? Shit. <laughs> oh dear. That went very well. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, they stick to walls and shit. That's brilliant. Love it. That is great. I love it. What a monster. Are all my bombs done now? Yes. Good. Yeah! Look at that. Fucking. Yeah, I know. I've played this game before. Hello. Hang on. What has that opened up? So oh. Don't think so, not yet. Interesting. Why? Oh, I can, I can see. Interesting. Okay, that was fun. Where are we going next, though? Is it going to take us into a? No, it's another science fiction level, but weird. Okay, well, my loves, uh, when we come back, we'll explore this a little bit more, yeah. This is fun. I, I'll do as many of these as I can, because these are really, really fun. Um, until then, my dears, bye-bye.